This is a problem. This is a crisis. This is chaos. It's a crisis. It's not humane. It is disastrous policy. It is chaos. This is chaos. It's chaos. I have 15 grandchildren. As I talk about this, I want you guys to think. Think deep about your kids, your grandkids. We talk about the pandemic and the, you know, coronavirus. We have thousands of children entering the facility. We don't have even one of them tested. We're not even checking what's happening. We have our border patrol agents spending time dealing with little kids, and some of the kids are tiny and have terrorists crossing the border. We're supposed to have 33 in the pod that we saw just yesterday, and they had 527. So it's heart heart wrenching to see these young unaccompanied uh, youth coming through here. I sat and watched uh, the seven year old little girl. Uh, she just tears in her eyes the whole time. That is not acceptable. We were out. Uh, up until midnight, um, traveling some of the trails here off from the Rio Grande River where the illegal aliens are coming in and they are coming in in unprecedented numbers. And those are the words of the Border Patrol and the Border Service. But we were meeting them on trails just coming in. 40% of the Border Patrol is being pulled to do humanitarian work right. at these uh, detention facilities. It's terrible. Rather than um, patrolling our border, they're doing other things. Uh, people are coming in, families accompanied with, by children under seven years old, go under a bridge, they call it the uh, TOPS, is the name of the facility. They process them in several hours, and, and then they turn them over to NGOs who release them into the country, arrange for bus fare and airfare. They're going everywhere in the United States. This mass migration is not concentrating on the southern border. They're being moved very quickly uh, throughout the United States. The impact on local schools, local hospitals, uh, crime rates, uh, and the ability of working Americans to earn a living, that's all coming to our communities. Yeah. We are now all on the border. But we are a country of immigrants, but we're a country of law. And right now, President Biden created perverse incentive for illegal immigration to our country. But we cannot create a culture where we start incentivizing people to break the law, and that's what's happening. This president must own the catastrophe he has created. Two weeks ago, he appointed Kamala Harris to be his point person on this issue. She's crisscrossed the country, taken holidays. She can't be bothered to come visit the border to see what her administration's policies have wrought. The reason that the president hasn't come down here, the reason that the vice president hasn't come down here, the reason they won't now let the press back into these facilities is because they're afraid the American people are going to find out exactly what's going on down here, how chaotic it is, and it could be stopped if we would just put in place, or excuse me, keep in place the policies that were there under President Trump. These are our children, my friends. Whether you're American or Mexican or Guatemala, it doesn't matter. These are our children. And we have an administration that does not have the backbone to come down here and give encouragement to these great men and women who are doing the job that are being overwhelmed right now. They don't have the backbone to come see the misery that their policy is giving to these boys and girls, babies, men and women who take that, that, that trip. Many will never make it. So I'm going to say to uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris, get some backbone. Get some compassion. Come down to the border and see what mess you've made.